To build the view controller and segue for the translated word, first we need to drag a view controller onto the storyboard. Now we're going to need to create a C -sharp class for the view controller. And I'm going to call this one Spanish View Controller. Then in the class, like we did before, I'm going to bring in UI Kit and also Foundation. And then going to derive from UI Table, View Controller, and add the register attribute. And finally, need to add that special constructor. That takes the int PTR and calls the base class. Now to identify the view controller for testing, we're going to override you did load and set the title of the navigation item to Spanish. But how do we get the Spanish view controller to display? We want to eventually use it to show the Spanish translation of the word for the row in the table when it's tapped. And we actually don't have to write any code to show the Spanish view controller, we just have to create a segue. So back in the storyboard, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the class of this view controller to Spanish view controller. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the prototype cell and I'm going to control drag from the prototype cell to the Spanish view controller and in the pop-up under selection segue click show. At this point you're going to notice that the back button has appeared in the navigation bar for the Spanish view controller which means that everything has now been hooked up. So let's take the app for a ride one more time. Now clicking on a row will trigger the segue which will animate the Spanish view controller. It has the title of Spanish like we set in the view did load method and also notice that the text of the back button is the same as the title of the previous view controller English. Now our next task is to get the Spanish word into the view controller. So first the Spanish view controller needs to be designed. Now the design is very simple it's only a label in the center of the view. So in the storyboard drag a label control into the Spanish view controller and use the guides to center it. I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the label again and it's going to switch these resizing handles to auto layout handles. So what I'm going to do is I want to center this vertically and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the center handle and drag it out until this center until this center uh, line in the vertical position is blue. And when I release it, it's going to create a constraint that will always make that label centered vertically. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click again to get the resizing handles back. I'm going to drag this out as far as the margins will let me on either side. I'm going to make it center the text in the label and then I'm going to get my auto layout handles back again and I'm going to pin the sides of the left side of the label to the left side of the view and 
the right side as well. And so now the auto layout has enough constraints that it can determine the position and size of this label and everything turns blue. Now before leaving the storyboard do one more thing and that is over here in the properties panel give this a name of label Spanish word. Now let's go back over to the Spanish view controller and what we're going to do is we need a way that we can access the properties of the label so that we can set its text. Now in iOS this is done with something called an outlet. But to create an outlet in Xamarin iOS first of all we have to have a property that will represent the outlet. So I'll create one. And it's going to be of type UI label. And I'm going to call it LBL Spanish word. And it can and we can just have the we can just have auto getter and setter for this. Now to make this an outlet, we need to add the outlet attribute, which is included in the foundation framework. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another public property. This time it's going to be a string called Spanish word. And that one also can have an auto getter and setter. And then down here in view load, I'm going to use that Spanish word property to set the text of the label. Now we're actually going to set the value of Spanish word in the English view controller. There's a method we're going to override here called prepare for segue. And this is called before a segue from a view controller. So now what I want to do in here is I want to get a reference to the view controller on the other side of the segue which is the destination view controller. Now the destination view controller is just of type view controller and what I want is I want to actually work with a Spanish view controller so I'll cast it and then what I need to do is I need to get the keys for the shared list again so I'm going to need the collections generic namespace one more time and I'll create a new list of strings and then I'll get the shared list dot items dot keys I need to be able to get the key that I for the item in the for the item that was tapped however what I need first is I need the index path of the item that was tapped fortunately the table view has a property index path for selected row I can use for that then I can get the key by using the row property of that and finally what I can do is I can set the Spanish word property of the destination view controller equal to shared list dot items for that key so let's test this one more time tapping on a row now shows the Spanish translation for the word now you might be wondering why I didn't set the text label directly in prepare for segue if I try to do that the application is going to crash with an exception that the uh, label Spanish word property is null 
This is because at this point the view has not been created yet and so there's nothing to connect the outlet to. And that's why the text has to be set in the view did load method instead of the Spanish view controller. So our translator is coming along but it would be nice if we could add new items to the dictionary. That's what we will work on in the final part of this series. Be sure to stick around.